hello everyone welcome back to math explorer in this video i'm going to solve this beautiful math problem that is 4 raised to power 3 raised to power 2 raised to power 1 minus 1 2 3 4 1234 so how can we solve this math problem and find out the value of this left hand side so here first of all we will try to find out the value of this one term which has three powers so if we have any number in this form having more than one power so here we will use a specific exponential rules data here we will solve the powers from top to bottom so here we will try to solve the powers from top to bottom so first of all here we will try to find out the value of this power 2 raised to power 1 now what is the value of 2 raised to power 1 2 raised to power 1 is simply 2 so here we will replace this power with 2 so this equation will become implies this will become 4 raised to power 3 raised to power 2 minus 1 2 3 4 now what we'll do here here we will try to find out the value of 3 raised to power 2 now what is the value of 3 raised to power 2 3 raised to power 2 means we need to multiply this 3 2 times so 3 times 3 is 9 so the value of 3 raised to power 2 or 3 square is 9 so here we replace this power with 9. So this will become 4 raised to power 9 minus 1, 2, 3, 4. Now what we will do here? Here in this step we will try to change this number to its exponential form. So here we can write this power as 2 square or 2 raised to power 2. So this will become 4 is same as 2 square or raised to power 9 minus 1234 here in this one number 2 raised to power 2 or raised to power 9 we will use an exponential math property exponential identity and we will multiply the powers so here we will use this one exponential identity or raised to power n or raised to power n can also be written as or raised to power m times n now using this identity here this term will become implies this will become 2 raised to power we will multiply the power so this will become 2 times 9 minus 1 2 3 4 here what is the value of 2 raised to 2 times 9 2 times 9 is simply 18 so this will become 2 raised to power 18 minus 1234 now here in this step we will try to find out the value of this term 2 raised to power 18 but here what is mean by 2 raised to power 18 2 raised to power 18 means we need to multiply to 18 times so it may be very difficult to find and multiply to 18 times so what we'll do here here we will do some changes in this power and to find out this value so here in next step we will replace this power 18 with the sum of 8 plus 10 minus 1 2 3 4 here in this one number 2 raised to power 8 plus 10 we will use in another exponential identity so here we will use this one exponential identity r raised to power m plus n which can also be written as r raised to power m times r raised to power n now using this exponential identity here we will split these powers over 2 so this will become 2 raised to power 8 times 2 raised to power 10 minus 1234 here we will try to find out the value of 2 raised to power 8 and 2 raised to power 10 so here the value of 2 raised to power 8 is we can write 2 raised to power 8 is here it means that we have to multiply this base to 8 times so let's multiply to 8 times 2 times 2 is 4 4 times 2 is 8 8 times 2 is 16 16 times 2 is 32 32 times 2 is 64 64 times 2 is 128 and 128 times 2 is 256 so the value of 2 raised to power 8 is 256 we will try to find out the value of 2 raised to power 10 so here we can write this 2 raised to power 10 as 10 can be written as 8 plus 2 now using this exponential property here we can write this number as 2 raised to power 8 times 2 raised to power 2 
Now here we have the value of 2 raised to power 8 that is 256 times 2 raised to power 2 is simply 4. So this will become 4. Now let's multiply these two numbers. So 4 times 6 is 24. So 4 2 will be carry. 4 times 5 is 20. 20 plus 2 is 22. So 2 2 will be carry. 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. So this will become 10. Now this is 1024. So the value of 2 raised to power 10 is 1024 so here we will substitute these two values here in this one term so this equation will become implies the value of 2 raised to power 8 is 256 times and the value of 2 raised to power 10 is 1024 minus 1234 here we will try to multiply these two numbers without using a calculator and without standard multiplication so how can we multiply these two numbers here to multiply these two numbers easily and without using calculator we will change this to the sum of other three numbers so here we can write this number as this first number will be the same 256 times and we can write this number as the sum of 1000 plus 20 plus 4 minus 1 2 3 4 now what we'll do here here we will try to multiply this number with the sum of these three numbers so here first we multiply this 256 with 1000 so it is very simple 256 times 0 is 0 256 times 0 is 0 256 times 0 is 0 and 256 times 1 is 256 so this gives him 256,000 plus we multiply this number with 20 to so 256 times 0 is 0 256 times 2 is 2 times 6 is 12 2 1 will be carried 2 times 5 is 10 10 plus 1 is 11 so 1 1 will be carried 2 times 2 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 so this gives him 5,120 plus we will multiply 256 with 4 so 4 times 6 is 24 so 4 2 is carried 4 times 5 is 20 20 plus 2 is 22 so 2 2 will be carried 4 times 2 is 8 8 plus 2 is 10 so this is 1024 now here we will add these three numbers and then finally we will subtract 1234 from that number so let's try to add these three numbers now to add these three numbers we will start from the ones position so 4 plus 0 plus 0 is 4 2 plus 2 is 4 4 plus 0 is again 4 now 0 plus 1 is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 now 1 plus 5 is 6 6 plus 6 is 12 so 2 1 will be carried here 5 plus 1 is 6 and 2 minus this one number 1 2 3 4 now finally we have to subtract these two numbers so this will give him our final answer to subtract these two numbers again we will start from the ones position so 4 minus 4 is 0 4 minus 3 is 1 no 1 minus 2 is not possible so what we'll do here here we will give 110 from this number to this one so giving 1 to 110 to this number will become 11 and this will become 1 now 11 minus 2 is simply 9 now this is 1 so 1 minus 1 is 0 and there are 2 digits left which are 6 and 2 so finally 260,910 is our answer and value of this beautiful math problem now in last if you like this video so don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel for such a more interesting and step-by-step -step math videos thanks for watching